hello guys welcome back to a new tutorial series of javascript uh, javascript is one of the most important component for developing dynamic and more responsive html pages by using javascript you can make your html page more responsive and dynamic uh, today's most of the web browsers support javascript and uh, there is no need to install any separate or any special software on your computer for working with JavaScript. Uh, the component you need is just a web browser that support JavaScript and any HTML editor. You can insert the JavaScript directly into an HTML page. So in the first part of this tutorial as an introduction, here I am going to create a web page that contain a symbol JavaScript. So here on this text document here I using notepad for writing the JavaScript here I already created an HTML document okay now I'm going to implement a simple JavaScript here for that I create an HTML element it's a paragraph element this is a symbol HTML paragraph okay this is a simple HTML paragraph and I am going to save it save us I save it into desktop with the name JavaScript JavaScript dude HTML and choose all file save okay now on my desktop you can see a new web page is created I open it now I open it on the browser here is the I open it on browser this is a symbol HTML paragraph okay now here I am going to print out another message using JavaScript so for starting uh, a script you use you can use a element called the script of course you need to close the script using the closing tag script and you need to specify the type of the script so type equal to provide is double quotes and text bar javascript this is the format you need to specify what is the script here we using the JavaScript that's why I specify type as text I for text bar JavaScript and here I am going to print out another HTML paragraph using JavaScript so I call the function document document dot write this is the symbol JavaScript for writing directly into an HTML page uh, this is a script message this is a simple script message okay so now I am going to save it and open up the browser now I refresh it now you can see that that message is also appear on the web page so now uh, now look at the source of this page uh, view view the page source here you can see that uh, you can see the script available on the code this is a simple HTML paragraph and here is the script okay now I am going to add another script here I copy this and end it with script tag okay now I am going to replace this paragraph by using a script so for accessing this element HTML element we need an ID so I provide an ID for the paragraph tag I give an ID of para here so you can use the ID of an HTML element for accessing that element on, an H on a JavaScript so here I am going to access this HTML element and I'm going to replace this paragraph with another paragraph available on the script so 
for accessing that element I'm going to call the function called uh, uh, document dot first you have to find the element using the ID so document dot there is a method called uh, get element get element by ID on double quotes you need to specify that ID here the ID is para for replacing the entire content within that element you have to use a method called uh, inner dot HTML equal to and specify that alternate text alternate paragraph okay I just uh, replace that script the uh, replace that paragraph using the script so by I just call the method called the document dot get element by ID and here provide the ID of the element and there is no need to provide a dot here this is a simple function inner dot inner HTML equal to and provide the alternative text don't forget to specify a semicolon here okay now I save it and again open up the browser and refresh it now you can see that the first paragraph is replacing replaced by the paragraph provided on the script guys this is a simple HTML script uh, directly embedded into HTML page please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates and please continue this tutorial